This is V from a Canadian RVer. In this video what I'm doing is I'd like to show you how we get our entertainment while at home base and also on the road. So let me show you how we do it at home base. So here we are at home base and what I'd like to show you is that uh, we have the park is wired for coax cable. So wired for coax we can get a cable modem connection and where it comes in is right there and what I've done is I'm using the internal um, wiring of the RV that was set up through a switch to allow us to use uh, a cable TV or uh, a satellite system but that's where that cable comes in and you can see that the bottom there um, that small black one comes right in there and I'll show you where I pick it up with my cable modem. So I'm also using a flashlight just to show you the light inside but the top box that's flashing away there that's our cable modem and underneath is our switch that allow us to go from TV antenna to cable TV to um, some kind of another input device. So what we're doing right there is the cable modem comes in on that wiring and the switch is I've disconnected the switch that goes from the back part of the RV where I showed you to the cable modem and uh, that's where I'm getting my respectable speed of uh, 30 megabits download. Now what we do from there is we're hardwired inside and that's my Wi-Fi Ranger that's supplying me the Wi-Fi signal all through the coach and I'll take you back to the TV area. So here I am at our TV area and it's in the, about the middle of the coach here and what we do is right here I have uh, an Apple 4K TV that uh, sends a signal through HDMI and uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, turn it on and uh, the light comes on, the Apple TV, TV comes on and it boots into the Apple network and what we do from there is we have all our apps that uh, we can uh, pick what we want to do and we can watch everything from the different services that we have YouTube City TV crave we can go to Apple or Prime Video So it gives us quite a bit of entertainment right there. That's off our Wi-Fi system And it comes up very quick and works great so that's what we do at home base and also we do have our 40 channels that we locally get here on regular TV and that's done with our um, antenna which is the control system is right up there and around 40 channels so that's good for home base plus our, our other channels that we get through the Wi-Fi system and the Apple TV. Now let me show you what we do when we're on the road. So when we're on the road, what we use is our satellite system. And uh, what we're using here is uh, Dish TV. And right in here is where I have my Wally 2. And this is the Wally 2 from Dish Network. And the, the difference between the 1 and the 2 is how the remotes work. Now on the 1, when I had uh, this door closed, um, you'd have to open the door because the old remote and the old system was uh, infrared. But um, the controller now is actually both. And, and this one is IR, which is um, infrared and also um, uh, wireless and with radio frequency, so RF. And it does both. And I can control everything from here. So what I'll do is if I want to go to guide, I'll push the button and it just resumes session. Now the nice thing about Dish is it's all in HD and also it's a pay-as-you-go plan which is really cool because if um, we don't want to use it for six months when we're back at home base, 
um, we won't use it. Um, if, if we want to um, use it uh, here, we can, but it's mostly meant for the US and while we're traveling. And uh, that's what the dish system looks like. And it's sitting right in there is the receiver. Now above it, that little device there is also a Wi-Fi connection for dish, which connects to my Wi-Fi Ranger. Also, right in the corner there um, is the little box right here, which is the satellite control box. This is where you set the dip switches for whatever uh, system you want. So it's, it's by Wingard, and I'll show you a picture uh, of that outside and how I mounted it. Now with satellite systems, what you have to do is it must be a direct wire to your satellite receiver. You can't have a switch box in between um, because it just the signal has to be at a certain dB and that's why I wired this directly. So from the satellite dish, it comes into this little box on the bottom, or sorry, the top right there. And from the bottom, it comes here to this connection right here on the Wally 2 uh, dish controller. What I've also done, what you see right here flashing in the bottom with the blue light, that is a one terabyte hard drive. So by plugging it into the USB port here, I can now record uh, videos or, or, or programs off dish and, and watch them at a later time. So that's the dish system that we're using and um, it's uh, really neat. We'll just go back to guide. And of course it's telling me that uh, I haven't subscribed because I'm not subscribed to right now. But um, it's really neat because now you can just watch um, the test channel as they have it. And um, it's, it's really neat. So this is DISH and uh, it works great for us, especially in the winter months when we're traveling and when we're in a warm place, we can activate the service and have entertainment. Also, one other thing I've added is a, um, I've got a Bose speaker just above the fireplace here, only because it was so, let me turn that down a bit. So the reason I put a Bose above the fireplace here is um, I find that the air conditioners used to be so noisy uh, until we put the uh, AC silencers on that we needed just a little more um, audio fidelity and, and quality of sound. And so that's fed through a toss link, which is right there to the back of the TV. And that's how we get our audio. And um, it, it's really nice because now we can get our full picture um, which is a 4K TV and our Bose for sound and it works as a great entertainment system. So let me go outside and I'll show you how I mounted the dish. So here we are. This is what it looks like from the back of the RV. I've mounted it on my ladder. I didn't want any more holes on my roof, but what I had did is I ran down my ladder here and you can see a little bit of the wire right there where I've, I've tie wrapped it and it goes around there. It goes into the coach in the back and I snaked it through the back bedroom to the entertainment system where that little black box was. So again, that's where it looks like, and that's the plate from Wingard that mounts it on your antenna. There's another look at it right there from my drone. So this is V from a Canadian RVer. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in our next video.